Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a portrait drawing and I have been trying to practice portraits more so just bear in mind that I'm not the best at portraits so yeah this will be interesting. So with that being said let's get into the drawing. Okay so I'm starting with a rough sketch and this rough sketch is going to be seen throughout most of the video because I just really needed a guide. Um, I've been learning a lot about like doing rough sketches and outlining and all that stuff and you know I'm just trying a few different things here just trying to adjust and everything um, add a few details I did add collarbones because I was going to draw it originally where you could see the collarbones but then I decided to do um, a different style so yeah I'm just really just trying to sketch out like with a mouth and nose and eyes are gonna go and just trying to figure out where I want everything to be so in this section, I'm actually just kind of drawing out the hair and the hair accessories. Again, just trying to figure out where I want them to be. Um, again, just doing rough sketches. Um, I'm going to go in and do the detailing and make this a lot better. But I just wanted to just get an idea of where it's all going to be. And just a lot of erasing. And this is where I actually chained. I decided to give her like a kind of turtleneck um, instead of the other shirt that I was going to do. I zoomed you in here so you could see better when I do the eyes, nose, and mouth, and this was a mess. Um, this took a lot of trial and error for me to get it to where it's at in the final drawing. Um, yeah, I'm not really good at eyes, nose, and mouth. It's something that I really need to practice with drawing. Um, I'm getting better at it, but yeah, I need to practice it a lot. So as you can see here, I'm still attempting to do the facial features. Um, just trying to go little by little. Again, I'm kind of doing like rough sketching. Um, just getting an idea of where I want everything to be. Um, not really doing anything detailed right now. Just trying to like figure out where I want it to be, what shape, all of that stuff. I actually added little pupils here because it's creepy without pupils. So yeah. So here I have sort of the, um, just a better, more cleaned up version. Um, of the facial features and I'm just kind of going over you know erasing them then I'm gonna go over and use the blender and just try to do a little bit of detailing um, this was just a lot of like trying erasing trying erasing and yeah just a lot of that back and forth um, to get the face right here I'm doing the eyes and I'm really just trying to focus and I'm use actually using the blender to do a lot of the like drawing um, and this actually helped to get softer lines and really just kind of get the shape right um, and again, like I said, this was just a lot of trying and racing and just trying and kept going over it and just little by little, layer by layer, and yeah, I mean, it came out not too bad, but I definitely have to do more practice on facial features and portraits as a whole. So here, as you can see, I finished the face. It's a lot better, and now I'm just using the blender to add some shading and some graphite to the neck and face area. This step was a little different. Um, I did want this to be mainly just a graphite drawing, but I wanted to add a little color. Um, so what I actually did was I went over with a black, I mean a brown color pencil and just a light layer in like the hair and then I went over that with graphite. So it still has like that sort of graphite look, but it has just a touch of color. Um, I really like it. It sort of gives it a muted colored look and yeah, I just really liked it. And I just did that on all of the hair. I just, you know, just a light layer of the brown and then I went over that with graphite and then used the blender to blend that in. Then yeah, I just did that over this part and then I did it over the hair in the back and just added some details. I did go over again with the brown colored pencil to kind of make the look of um, strands of hair just so it didn't look so flat. Um, but I tried to keep that sort of subtle muted look as I did that. So for the shirt, I was actually going to do like a tank top or kind of a look like if she was wearing a strapless dress. Um, but then I thought, especially with the bow, I think it would just look better if I did a sort of turtleneck sweater look. So that's what I'm doing here. I just covered the whole thing in like a light layer of tan. And then I used a reddish brown color pencil to do like the lines, like kind of like the um, darker lines in like a sweater and then I covered the whole thing in graphite and blended it as best that I could 
and yeah i really like this look um again it kind of has a muted look to it muted graphite look and yeah i just i don't know i, I just like this a lot better than what i was gonna do originally <laughs> so this is the part where i'm gonna do the bow and i decided to do the bow in watercolor because i wanted to have a nice pop of color and i want it to be just very different from the rest of the drawing so i'm just using like a red watercolor and i mix it with like a little bit of a darker red to get some shading and I'm just going over the whole thing. Um, I'm using a small brush. I could have used a bigger brush, but I want to use a small one for any detailing. And yeah, I just painted the whole thing. Um, the paper that I did this on, it's actually not watercolor paper. Um, so I didn't actually think of that until after I started using the watercolor. Um, so it did kind of, um, kind of warp the paper a little bit, but that should be fixable. And yeah, I mean, it still looks good. And yeah, I just used a crimson red for the bow color, and I then I used like a reddish brown for like the shading on the bow. And yeah, I just really like how it came out, and I just it's just what I wanted, just like a muted portrait um, picture with just that, like a bow or a ribbon with just a pop of color. And yeah, I just I just really like it. So for this final part, I just did some touch-ups, um, just going over defining some of the lines, maybe going over with some areas where it just needs some more blending or coloring and you know all that stuff i really did like the finished product but i wanted to just add a little bit of color to her eyes and to her lips and just her face um, i didn't like the gray especially because i had added color to like the hair and the bow it just her face was just really really gray and just whited out and i didn't really like that look so i just wanted to add a little bit um, of a, again, kind of like that muted color to her face and eyes and lips. And so I just went over very lightly with some color pencils and just kind of blended it in. And I also kind of fixed her irises or her, her pupils, I mean, um, because they were a little uneven and just kind of fixed those and did some little detailing and touch up where it needed to be. So guys, here's the finished drawing and I really like it. It's like a muted graphite drawing with a pop of color in the bow. If I knew I was doing watercolor, I would have picked different paper, but I didn't, so the paper is a little messed up. But overall, I like it, and it has inspired me to practice portraits more, which is really good. So guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and that you're having a great day. Go out, create, have some fun today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!